For years, fashion followed a simple formula. Source, produce and sell, with any leftover stock simply thrown away or burnt. But then we came to realise we could do things differently. Fashion is a famously polluting industry. So what if what's good for the planet could also be good for business? An idea now so ingrained it's even got its own university course at the prestigious French Institute of Fashion, with graduates awarded a certificate for sustainable development. Here we train around a thousand students going into all different parts of the fashion industry. They're all between 18 and 24, and for them this idea is completely natural. It's something they were born with, they're really aware of it. And from a teaching perspective, that changed everything. We created a teaching post last year, the IMF Caring Academic Chair. That let us hire a professor and really expand our teaching capacity and social and environmental responsibility. We also try to develop programmes that aren't just about raising awareness, but also about bringing about real action. That is, as part of their day-to-day -day tasks, we push students to come up with prototypes, apps and pieces that are compatible with our sustainable development ethos. Yes, we're definitely in the movement, absolutely, and that will only increase. We believe that training the up-and-coming generation represents an enormous opportunity. That's what we're trying to do with this new cohort of designers. Can we identify some major trends? There's such amazing energy, real commitment. Whether that's to do with environmental or social initiatives, or even more so, the economic side of things. For the big labels, sustainability is now non-negotiable, and clients are demanding it. Consumers, and especially millennials and Gen Z consumers, they're already ahead of the curve. They hold labels to high standards. They expect labels to be able to offer products that are beautiful and great quality, but which also have been produced with a view to reducing their impact on the planet. Consumers are pushing us to do better, and that's a good thing. Students at the IFM have become experts in upcycling. Here they're being shown the ropes at an organization called Renaissance, or Rebirth. Right now this is something extremely important and these people are being trained in sustainable development at just the right time. It's a new discipline. We're talking about luxury upcycling. Take this skirt. It started off as a pair of men's trousers by Jean-Paul Gaultier, which were then deconstructed and remade as a dress. The organization's main objective is to help people return to the world of work. Philippe Guillet teaches them the ins and outs of haute couture. So they learn how to recycle, for example, professional uniforms. You still need to have a solid knowledge of art direction. Do you draw these models? We're not trying to do anything radical here. What I'm doing is bringing my special touch to these pre-made clothes. I try to apply different methods and techniques that are widely practiced in couture workshops. My goal is to make sure my people get to learn as many new things as possible. As for the IFM students, their job here is to come up with new business plans. There's this aspect of trying to industrialize upcycling, which isn't a given. That's our challenge, to find a way to scale all this up, to help businesses save these clothes and give them a new lease of life through upcycling. Also just outside Paris, the Espero Association works to improve the lives of people living in exile. For her project at the IFM, Lucie de Guel has worked alongside them to come up with a method of creating ponchos from recycled jumpers. Knitwear is wonderful for many reasons. We can make our own textiles. And we can choose our own biodegradable wool, which is more responsible. And really great compared to typical weaving techniques. And also, right now, knitwear is really gaining in popularity. And that's why I wanted to specialize in it. Marco Ward believes everything can be recycled, from bike inner tubes to drinks cans. Even his thread is recycled dog hair. For a while now, I simply haven't been using fabrics bought in shops. I thought, how can I make my own textiles with materials that I can find here in Paris? I thought about the animals that live here in Paris, and I realized that there weren't any sheep near where I live, but there were dogs and cats. So I started going to dog groomers, even going door to door to see what I could collect. And that's how it all started. 
Marco is working with students at the HEC Business School to pursue his idea at scale. We really think we found an alternative to man-made traditional fibres here. We don't have the normal transport costs, we don't need to go to Mongolia or to China to find cashmere. And the plan is to create a truly luxury label. But the question of real sustainability is often more complex than it might first appear. How do you measure a product's carbon footprint, its consumption of water, natural resources, its impact on biodiversity? How do you measure progress and how do you combine all these factors to evaluate your production process? These are important questions, we need to continually improve on them. It's a sort of techno-economic approach because at the heart of all this is design and creation. With any luck, they're questions that students at the IFM will soon be able to answer en masse their certificates for sustainable development in hand.